Hi everyone, I'm Malene from English Made Easy and I'm back today with another English lesson to help you improve your performance in your tests and exams. If that's what you're looking for, do consider subscribing and we will begin with a short lesson on idioms. In this lesson, you will have to replace the underlined word or words in each sentence with an appropriate idiom. There is a list of idioms for you to choose from, so it will not be that difficult. You might be interested in this video on horse idioms. For now, let's get started with these 10 idioms that I have. I hope you're ready. So what is an idiom? An idiom does not have literal meaning. That means you cannot look at the words in an idiom and understand what it means. You have to look at all the words together. It is a saying with deeper meaning. It is a kind of figurative language. Native speakers use idioms in their speech or writing or both. So it is a good idea to learn idioms. Replace the underlined words in each sentence with one of the following idioms. So we have 10 of them here. Take after, as fit as a fiddle, a stiff upper lip, in the limelight, look upon, at the drop of a hat, a lame duck, make both ends meet, let the cat out of the bag and in black and white. So let's see which of these you're going to fit in with which sentence. Shall we start? Your first one. Karan always finds fault with others and will immediately point out the mistakes you have made. So which idiom will you use instead of the word immediately? Well, the right answer is Karan always finds fault with others and will point out the mistakes you have made at the drop of a hat. And the idiom should be used exactly the way it is. You have to write at the drop of a hat. If you change any of the words, then your idiom will be wrong. You cannot say at drop of hat or at a drop of the hat. You have to use the idiom exactly the way it is. At the drop of a hat. Please remember that. Here's a second one. We wanted to give mother a surprise on her birthday, but Anu told her all about it. So which idiom would you use instead of the words told her all about it? The right answer is let the cat out of the bag. We wanted to give mother a surprise, sorry, a is missing, a surprise on her birthday, but Anu let the cat out of the bag. Again, you have to use the idiom exactly the way it is. Let the cat out of the bag. You cannot change any of the words over here. The third one. John did not believe the promises made by the man selling the car. He wanted everything in writing. So what's the idiom you could use instead of the words in writing? The answer is in black and white. John did not believe the promises made by the man selling the car. He wanted everything in black and white. Use the idiom exactly the way it is. Fourth one. He is no longer a minister. He is now a man without any power. So which idiom would you use instead of a man without any power? Here's the answer. A lame duck. Sounds funny, isn't it? A lame duck. He is no longer a minister. He is now a lame duck. The fifth one. It is usual for a child to resemble in looks and character one of its parents. So you have to pick an idiom that can replace these words. Resemble in looks and character. What's your answer? Okay, the right answer is take after. It is usual for a child to take after one of its parents. The next one, Sham has lost his job and finds it difficult to support himself. So find an idiom that means support himself. Here's the answer. Sham has lost his job and finds it difficult 
to make both ends meet. Make both ends meet. The seventh one. After resting for a day, all the members of the team were in good physical condition. So what's the idiom that could be used instead of these words? In good physical condition. The answer? After resting for a day, all the members of the team were as fit as a fiddle. Let's continue with the eighth one. Even in the face of such a fierce attack by the enemy, he, like a true soldier, kept calm. So, which idiom would you use? Here's the answer. A stiff upper lip. Even in the face of such a fierce attack by the enemy, he, like a true soldier, kept a stiff upper lip. The ninth one. James wanted to be famous and would do anything to be the focus of public attention. What's the idiom? It's getting easier, isn't it? There's just two left. So which one would you pick? Well, the answer is in the limelight. James wanted to be famous and would do anything to be in the limelight. The tenth one, the last one. The kind old teacher regarded all his pupils as his own children. Regarded. What's left? This one's the easiest of all because there's just one idiom left. So what's the idiom? Looked upon. The kind old teacher looked upon all his pupils as his own children. Got it? Do hit that like button if this lesson was useful to you and share it with your friends if you think they might need it too. I look forward to having you watch my next English lesson. Until then, keep learning, keep practicing and I'll see you soon. Cheerio!